Pounds Labs presents the ProMatch series using the pocket scanner. School and volume photography is not just capturing a decent image, but capturing the image and making sure that the data matches exactly. There are many systems to matching data, but if you make an error, there's a good chance that Jerry might end up with Bobby's picture. Ideally, the photographer would be using a camera tethered directly to a computer. The disadvantage of this is not just the expensive equipment, but it takes photographers time away from being a photographer. They must concentrate on all the other peripherals and make sure that they get a good picture as well. Pounds has the answer, and that is the Opticon Pocket Scanner. How does it work? Barcodes are assigned to each student in the school data set. Barcoded camera tickets, camera cards, or labels are printed in advance of photo day. The scanner is synced to the camera by start time. Each student's barcode is scanned just prior to photography. And finally, ProMatch software processes the scans and the images by times for a very reliable match. These are the key components of the Opticon Pocket Scanner. It has a USB port that uses a standard USB mini cable. This is not a phone cable. This cable allows you to either charge the unit or to pass the data that have been scanned into the computer. The clear function button at the bottom center is recessed, so it's not easy to push. In fact, you may require to press it with your fingernail. By pressing this button and holding it for 10 seconds, you can clear the scanner of previous scans. The large button is the scanning button. And by pressing it and passing the scanning laser over the barcode, it will re read the barcode, store it in its memory with the time it was scanned. LED indicator, when it's green, the scanner is charged. When it turns amber, it's starting to get weak. Just keep in mind that this unit can store and scan over 5,000 barcodes without needing a recharge. To fully charge this unit, plug the USB mini cable directly into it and either plug it into a telephone charger or a laptop or a computer. Just plug it in until it turns green. Once it turns green, it's ready to go to work. The way the Opticon works, when you scan a card, it keeps a track of the memory of the time you scanned it. When you put it into ProMatch, it will find all the images taken after that scan and assign them to it. So if you scan a barcode and you take 30 pictures and then you scan another barcode, all 30 of those images will be assigned to that first barcode. So it's a real good idea to make sure you scan every card as the kit comes to you. This is the ProMatch Sync card. It has a green side for sync and a red side for slate. We're going to use it to sync the camera. This will tell the Opticon when we started and a picture of it will tell the camera when we started. At the beginning of the day, the first step is to get your camera exactly right. Get the exposure and color right. Once you've done that, erase the memory card on the camera so you're starting off with a clean slate. Empty the Opticon of any previous memory by pressing the small button and holding it until we hear a beep. Now the Opticon is clean and ready to start. At this point, we will scan the sync card and take a picture of it as quickly as we can. So let's scan it and take a picture. At one time, it was required that this picture be taken within one second. You now have two or three seconds to work in. It's still a good idea to shoot and sync as quickly as possible with the goal of capturing the card immediately after the sync. Now we're ready to shoot a slate or a start slate. And that's done with the slate side of the card. 
Step one of making a slate is to scan the slate card. We take a picture of the slate. Hold the slate directly over where the student is going to be. That way it will be clear and easy to read. From this point on, you'll scan cards from the students and you'll take their photographs. One of the biggest mistakes people make when scanning and using the pocket scanner is forgetting to scan. The way to keep from forgetting to scan is quite simple. You put your thumb on the button to do the scanning before you meet the child. So as you walk up to the child and they hand you their card, you confirm who they are. Tommy, what's your last name? White, very good. And as soon as you confirm who they are, beep, 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 you scan it. This guarantees that you have captured the card before you photograph the child. Do not let others scan for you. If someone is helping, they'll end up scanning before you're finished shooting someone, and that subject will become out of order. Oops, I forgot to scan a card. Hey, we're all human. Mistakes can happen. Even following the steps with the scanner is in your hand, when you greet them, you may forget to scan a card and you won't know it. Once you photograph the subject, glance at the back of the camera and copy onto the camera card the last three digits of the JPEG number. This number can be used by the operator to correct almost any problem that you can create for them. Make sure you keep the cards in shot order. I do this by stacking them face down into a box and at the end of the day I bind them either with rubber bands or nylon strip ties. At the end of the day you want to take another slate. This shows the operator back at your office that the last picture of the day has been taken. When they see the picture of this red card they'll know that they got all the images from your camera. So I'm going to scan it and take a picture of it. Who's my first and last? Come right on down here to the on deck position, everybody. Right behind her, as she slips out, step up to that piece of tape. Here we go. I'm take the card from you there. Okay, Crystal, what's your last name? Kinsler. You are correct. Come on over this way. Have a seat there. Point your knees toward me. Sit nice and tall. Lift your hands in your lap. Turn toward me a little bit more. Turn your face back to the camera. That's this thing over here. Don't have to go no place. I'm going to make you look so pretty. Stay right where you're at. Oh my goodness. Hold it. That's your mean, nasty one. Look right at this time. There you go. Watch my hand. Tilt you just a hair. That's it. Hey, very good. Let's see. 506. 506. Thank you very much, Crystal. All righty. Okay. Miss Ramirez, what's your first name? Lorena. Hello, Lorena. Come on down. Have a seat right there. Point your knees toward me. <laughs> Sit tall, turn your knees this way a little bit more. Back straight, turn your face back to the camera. Watch my hand. <laughs> Welcome back in there. Hey, you look right here. You're doing so nice. Stay just as you are. Oh, that was excellent. One more time. Turn your nose back to the mirror a little bit more. Looking right in the camera, hold it. And got Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 508. Who's my next victim? Come on down. How do you do? Tell me, Danette, what is your last name? Penelope. If you say so. <laughs> there we go. Come on down. Have a seat there. Point your knees toward me. Sit do nice you, you now, I'm over here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hands in your lap. Turn your face back to the camera. Put your hands right on your lap. They won't show. Let's just get things right. Turn your face this way. Tilt just a little bit. Now look right in there. Hold on. <laughs> Happy, 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 too much tilt, bring it back a little bit, bring it back. Too much tilt. There you go, that's it right there. Hey, that was a great shot. One more looking good. Oh, I, I think you're boy. One more time. Hey, excellent. 